Hey there, so we've dipped our toes into the crypto world and stumbled upon a game changer, yield farming. Specifically, we've been using the Uniswap to provide liquidity and oh boy, our portfolio was dancing to a beat of over 140% returns. Now, we're thrilled to spill the beans on this process with a step-by-step -step tutorial, courtesy of Yield Flow. Unlike those faceless centralized solutions that like to keep your money in the shadows, Yield Flow is all about transparency. Think of them as your trusty interface or the router to the DeFi world. They're non-custodial, meaning they don't hold your funds hostage, and they're on a mission to demystify the complexity of DeFi. It's like they're the GPS guiding your assets through smart contracts to various protocols ensuring your journey in the passive earning space is smooth sailing. Now this gem of a platform has been recognized by Cointelegraph as an all-in-one solution for investors. Their goal is combining decentralization with a user-friendly interface. The whole operation is based on audited and publicly listed smart contracts thanks to 30k. Plus, no personal data collection, no KYC. It's a crypto-only experience. Forget about wiring in money from your bank account. Only stablecoins and crypto are allowed in this playground. Now, let's talk services. Yieldflow provides three main goodies, lending, staking, and liquidity pools. Lend your assets securely, stake to validate transactions and earn rewards, or help others trade by providing liquidity and collecting fees. And here's the cherry on top. They've got over 20 crypto assets, a bustling community of 10,000 plus active users, and a sleek interface that's a plug-and-play dream. No more struggling with clunky UIs. Yield flow aims to be the solution. But how do they make money? Fear not, it's all in the white paper. There's a performance fee upon cashing out purely based on your earnings. They only earn when you do. There's also a management fee annual and based on your deposits, but the good news is you can offset these fees with their native token, which is also a governance token. Now let's dive a bit deeper into this journey. First off, a huge shout out to Transparency. We're all about it. Now we've been tinkering about this for about two months now, and we'll definitely circle back to see how it's all shaping up. But, and this is crucial, let's talk about the risks, because you know, in the crypto realm, the safest bet is usually the good old buy and hold in cold storage strategy. When you step outside that cozy cold storage zone, there's a tad more risk involved. But hey, here's the silver lining. The platform and the contracts have been audited, which, let me tell you, we really appreciate. Any contract they shake hands with gets the audit treatment too, and they're not shy about flaunting those audit reports. It's out there for the world to see, and that adds a layer of confidence for us. If you're already into staking or diving into DeFi for that sweet yield, might as well do it in a decentralized fashion, right? It's a breath of fresh air compared to the centralized options we've seen around. Now, a quick reminder. Always make your own decisions. Do your own research and do what suits you best. Now let's get into the nitty-gritty with a walkthrough. So, we're diving into staking and look at the menu. They're offering Polygon, Phantom, and Sandbox staking at the moment. It's like a buffet of staking options. Join these transparent node pools and voila, earn staking yields up to 16.1% in real time without the headache of running the node yourself. That seems like a sweet deal to me. Next up is lending, and yes, it's all through DeFi. If you're feeling generous and want to lend your USDT on a protocol, well, you have that option too. And then, there's what we've been experimenting with. Liquidity Pool version 3. Risky? Perhaps, but hey, sometimes you gotta take a leap to see what happens. Now let me give you the lowdown on the potential interest. It's an annualized percentage yield based on the trading fees from the last few days. If the market's doing a tango, expect more. If it's snoozing, well, the interest might take a nap as well. Now we're starting off with $10,000. Depositing it into the ETH USDT pool, and we're going to let it marinate for about two months. Let's see where this roller coaster takes us. Alright, buckle up. Now we're headed to the main page. First things first, gotta connect our wallet. Using a DII wallet and rolling with the Arbitrum chain, trying to avoid those hefty fees that come with ETH, you know? They do offer an Arbitrum bridge as well, just looking out for our wallets. Oh, and heads up. We're recording this on a different day, so the APR is playing a little peekaboo. After connecting the wallet, the first step is to approve the USDT. And before I forget, a quick stop for some ETH. Now, we're starting off with $10,000 in just under 2 ETH. 
Now, an important note, you have got to get that ETH to USDT ratio on point. With $110,000 in total and Ethereum currently occupying 62% of the pool, we need around 6,200 ETH. And boom, there it is, the ratio check is complete. Now let's get that USDT approval through the wallet. And when it's been given the green light, it's time to add liquidity. Check out all these juicy stats laid out, it's like a playground for number nerds. Alright, it's time to hit that max button and give it the green light. We're in the thick of it now and guess what? You're not chained to this. You can remove the liquidity whenever you feel like it. No lockups, no drama. You've got the reins. Now here's the cool part. Every 12 hours, you get to claim your fees. It's like a mini paycheck and you've got options. You can either stash those fees in your wallet and watch them grow or you can choose to redeposit them for that sweet compounding interest effect. Oh, choices. Now fast forward about 9 days later and here we are. We're claiming our fees for the first time. Now if we were on top of our game, we'd have claimed them every 12 hours and kept that compounding party going. But hey, life happens and I forgot. So, after 9 days, we're claiming 3 ETH and 630 USDT. Let's check the wallet. We've got 0.4 ETH and 611 USDT. Not too shabby, right? There was a bit of a hiccup in the ratio game, making it a bit tricky to deposit everything at once, but hey, we got those fees. Now, let's roll up our sleeves and hit that redeposit button. Gas fee, blockchain magic, and boom. We're back in business. Nine days in and we're already seeing the fruits of this little experiment, but we're not done yet. Fast forward a few weeks and we've been diligently claiming fees and tossing them back into the mix whenever we could. Sure, we could have probably done it more frequently, but life's a bit hectic. Now there's this lonely 640 USDT hanging out in the wallet. The ETH amount might not perfectly sync up due to the ever-changing ratio, but hey, that's part of the game. Checking in on the portfolio stats, total assets now dance at $1,522 plus that $600 still chilling in the wallet. Not too shabby for a 9 to 10 week ride. Now I can almost hear you saying, what happened to that 140% return promise? Hold up, remember, this crypto world is a bit like a roller coaster. The percentages we're talking about are annualized, calculated over a whole year. So, give me your raw thoughts down below. What do you like about this journey? What's still buzzing in your mind? Let's keep this conversation going. And again, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe. We'll see you in our next videos and have a good day.